Hi, I'm Dr. Harbir Singh, live here at the Digital Health Summit Studio here at CES 2020. We're here right now with Dr. Ang Sung, the VP of Enterprise and Data Science and Cognitive AI at Humana. Dr. Sung, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, yeah, same here. I'm very glad to be here with you today. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about what you're doing at Humana. Yeah, so I lead Enterprise Data Science, Cognitive AI at Humana. Uh, what I do with my team is really using machine learning to analyze large volumes of data, extract insights, and integrate these insights into the tools used by our members and also our employees to help our members achieve their best health. That's amazing because as a large insurer, Humana's got droves of data on patients and members. Absolutely. And so now you're finally able to use that data Absolutely. in a meaningful way. Absolutely. I, I think one of the things I, I'm very excited about, you know, what I learned at CES, also observed from, you know, my experience is a lot of AI technology are becoming more real. Uh, part of that is because of the access to the cloud storage computer mm -hmm. power so that we can really process large volume of data really quickly and apply sophisticated algorithms to the data and get the insights out and put them into use in practice, yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah, so how does this fit with Humana's mission? Yeah, so the way we look at AI is not necessarily artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, our definition is augmented intelligence. Okay. So what that means is we build tools and we use these tools to empower our members associates with data, with analytics, with insights, uh, so make it a lot easier for our member to navigate the system, uh, make it a lot easier for our employees to do their job, to have more mm -hmm. member time to solve the pinpoints for the members. Yeah. Wow, yeah. so can you, I know you guys discussed this in the panel, but can you give us as well a specific example of how this is happening in real life? Yeah, absolutely, happy to share. You know, there's one example actually by our CEO, Bruce, mm -hmm. uh, 18 months ago, uh, he published this on LinkedIn, by the way. Uh, so it's a story internally we call Finding Jamie. Okay. Uh, now, who is Jamie? Jamie is a uh, member on a patient uh, who is at high risk of developing diabetic uh, foot ulcer. Okay. I mean, for those of us who have clinical knowledge, we know that amputation typically is preceded by a DFU, right? Mm -hmm. And Amputation typically costs a lot of money, $20,000 mm -hmm. on average per patient. And treating the DFU is $6,000 uh, or $6,500 to be exact. And we spend millions of dollars treating DFU patients. So, so we use AI to first identify who is Jimmy okay. so that we can optimize the resource to those who truly need help at that moment, okay. meet with Jimmy where he is. And we also use AI to have a better understanding of the environment, the social determinants of health of Jamie, uh, so that we can help him, empower him, engage him in the right way. So another example related to the first one is really, imagine now you have uh, your BMR charts mm -hmm. together with the table of the social determinants of health mm -hmm. for a member. So now a lot of times you will realize that instead of advise the member to eat more, more green, less red, you realize that maybe the first issue is not about that, it's about helping them with some financial issues, right? Mm -hmm. Because we actually have examples where members are basically tier for sharing with the care manager team of saying, I'm out of food, I'm waiting for my social security check, which will come not until the end of next month, right? So it's really a holistic view of the member so you know the member better, and you find ways to earn their trust and engage in that. Yeah. So. Wow, that's fascinating. So it sounds like you're taking a larger holistic view of a member's health and looking at multiple different variables to help improve it. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Well, I'm very excited uh, to hear about the work that you're doing and excited to see what sorts of new insights we get from the the abilities that we've got from data science and cognitive AI mm -hmm. and see how that helps improve the health of our nation. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 This is Dr. Harbir Singh live here at the Digital Health Summit Studio here at CES 2020. Yeah.